Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this look that I created on myself last night. If you guys follow me on my Instagram, then you saw that I posted two pictures on this look and a lot of you really liked it. So I figured, why not? I will film a tutorial on this look. So if you guys are interested to see how I created this, then continue watching. Starting off with primer, I am using the Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer to prime my skin and I'm just going to apply that evenly all around. I'm applying the Master Conceal onto my eyelids to act as an eyeshadow base and just blending that out with my Beauty Blender. So, that concealer didn't really hide the veins on my eyes. So I'm just going to go in with my Max Studio Fix in NW20. I'm just gonna go over it with a clean brush that I have. Since I did this look yesterday, I didn't really wash my makeup brushes. So I'm just gonna go over this with the brush that I use to conceal underneath my eyes, eyebrows. And just to kind of hide those veins and conceal them a little bit more. Since that Maybelline one didn't really do that. Using the colors Anaheim and Zone. I'm gonna start off with my eyes. Um, just because yesterday when I did this look, I had a lot of fallout. I didn't think of that. So I'm just going to start off with my eyes first today. So we can clean that up after the fact. So I'm just going to take those two shades and I'm just going to work that into my crease. And just to kind of darken it. That was really a heavy hand at first. If you have a heavy hand, try and hold it at the bottom of this. To see you have a little less freshness right away, so we'll fix that. Okay, so I already did most of my eyelid off camera, just for the sake of time, so you guys aren't sitting here forever watching this. I need to um, put some tape on the edge just to make it a little bit more sharp. I always forget that. So let's go ahead and do that. And I just put it on the back of my hand like this. I have a little concealer there, but I put it on the back of my hand like that so that way when I apply it to my face, it's not so sticky and doesn't feel like it's ripping my face off. But now that I have that tape on, that's going to allow it to be more sharp and it's going to prevent any major fallout on the side and make it look really kind of clean. Okay, so again with Anaheim, I am just Blending this kind of in a V shape, and I'm just going to use windshield wiping motions in my crease. Kind of take this into the inner corner of my eye. I really want it to transition, I don't know if you can see, but from the blue up into like the brown neutral tone so that way it's not just blue. You really want to make sure that you blend this in. So I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil. It's in black bean. And this is basically going to act as a base for the blue and um, that real gold metallic yellow color just to kind of enhance it a little bit more. So I'm just going to smudge this onto my eyelid and then I'm going to take a brush and kind of just smudge that out a little bit. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a flat brush. This is the M432 brush by Morphe and I'm just going to blend that out and smudge it with this. I'm going to use the M422 brush and I'm just going to go in with this blackout from the Gwen Stefani palette and I'm just going to go over The NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil, um, just because it's kind of a creamy texture, so I kind of just want to set it with a little bit of black eyeshadow. So I'm just kind of patting that on. I forgot to apply a little bit of the color Punk to my crease, which is what I did on this eye before I applied the black. But that's okay. We're, we're going to make it work. So I'm just going to try to lightly work that into my crease. Using the color Danger, I'm going to take a synthetic Sony Kashuk brush. It's the 110. And I'm just going to apply that to the outer corner of my eye and the inner corner of my eye. And 
And with black, sometimes it's going to crease a little bit. As you can see, I don't know if you can. It's very crease there, so I'm just going to go back in with that M422 brush and kind of just blend that a little bit more. Okay, so taking the color 1987, I'm going to apply that in the center of my eyelid. And I'm just going to use that as a base again for the metallic yellow that I'm going to put on the center of my eyelid. That is from the Kathleen Lights, Where the Night Is. And I'm just going to pack this on with another synthetic brush. Again, since this is a pigmented eyeshadow, it's going to pick it up better. And I'm just kind of just patting that on. I don't want to rub it together because then I'm going to get the blue mixed in with the yellow and vice versa. So that's not going to be a good look. So I'm just going to again pat that on. I'm just going to apply this to the center of my eyelid. And this is the color Telepathy from the Where the Night Is quad by Kathleen Light. I love her. She seriously is my favorite person in the entire world. Besides Shayla, she's my favorite person. And as you can see, this is so pigmented, you guys. It is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. Like, she really acted herself with this. It's so good. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the telepathy and I'm just going to go over it just to make it more intense. And go back in with Deja just to kind of blend together those colors and touch up where a little bit too much of telepathy went. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of my Neutrogena makeup remover wipes and as you can see a lot of fallout went there. So I'm just going to remove that from underneath my eye. Take that Maybelline concealer and use that to conceal underneath my eyebrow. I'm just going to squeeze out a little bit. I'm going to go in with my angled brush. I'm going to clean up underneath with a M431 pencil brush. Just blend that in. So going in with my Kat Von D Lock It Tattoo Foundation, I'm just going to use my favorite foundation brush. Jacqueline Hill is the one who put me onto this brush. Do you see this brush? It is legit perfection. So with this so with this brush I'm just going to use dabbing motions and I am just going to blend that all in. And I use a pump and a half. That'll normally do it for me. I can't just do that on one pump. So now to highlight, I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Age for Wine Concealer. And I'm just going to dot underneath. I'm gonna highlight my nose, underneath it, my forehead. So my battery died. So off camera, I basically applied my NYX translucent powder to set the concealer that I put underneath my eyes and I'm going to now take it off with a setting brush so I'm just kind of going to sweep it away going in with my NYX palette to take this color and this color to contour my face and for that I'm just going to use a Real Techniques um, sculpting brush and that's pretty much as far out as I'm going to take it because this look is already really dramatic so I don't want to really like look too chiseled. With this brush, I'm not sure what the name of this brush is. It's by ETA Cosmetics. You've seen me use this in a few of my videos. It's 
it looks like. I'm just going to use that to blend out the contour. apply this to my cheeks. To highlight my face, I'm going to use the Becca Cosmetics Jaclyn Hill palette. And I'm going to use all three colors. I'm going to get Harley happy right now. So with this color here, I'm just going to blend it to where I use my blush. I'm going to add it to my little cupid's bow. And then with my finger, I'm going to just take champagne pop, my little pearl. I'm going to take my L'Oreal telescopic mascara, telescopic, cancel today. And just add a little layer of that onto my eyelashes. And while that is drying up, I'm going to continue to finish my eyes. So going back in with the Gwen Stefani palette to take Anaheim. And I'm just going to brush that underneath. So with my smudging brush, I'm just going to take that danger color and I'm just going to smudge that below my lower lash line and I'm just going to take that out to the outer corner as well. Then I'm going to take that same color and wing that out to the inner corner of my eye. to take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Purple Velvet and I'm just going to apply this to my waterline. I thought that this would be perfect for this look because Gwen Stefani is all about her colors. I was listening to her music today, watching all her music videos and I was just feeling the color vibe. So I'm just going to apply this with this a little bit of a pop. Next, I'm going to take just a little angled brush and I'm going to go in with bath water and skimp combined. And I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyebrow to highlight. To finish out this look, I'm just going to line my lips with a NYX lip pencil. And to give the look a little bit more pop, I'm using this lip gloss. It actually does not even have a color name on it, so I'm sorry. Before I forget, because literally I forget this every single time I'm about to finish out a look. I'm just going to apply some mascara to my lower lashes with my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. So that concludes this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys recreated. So thank you so much for watching you guys. Thank you for subscribing and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.